Hi everyone and welcome back. So this is my Redux stick looks like and here we can see the selected restaurant whenever you move to the restaurant selected restaurant page then we are making a call based on the route parameter getting the, the restaurant by ID and uh, which you can see here we are making a call and we are getting this much of the data right so this is the restaurant the address information and the restaurant menu information and this call we are making from the UI so we are able to populate this data and this is the restaurant basic details the address object okay and then here we have the restaurant menu now you can divide this menu into the multiple categories your restaurant menu has a different cuisine type or different uh, type based on the region like vegetarian non vegetarian south indian north indian you can categorize these and that same category you can show on the ui so how we are going to do that let's go to our code so this is our restaurant menu page and what we are doing here is we are making this call on the landing page if you have seen already this is what we are doing get restaurant data and we got the restaurant information here in the selector and that restaurant information we are passing everywhere to show the name to the show the logo url ratings course photo and all the basic information and then in the bottom we are actually running a loop that loop will decide so this loop is creating the category what we are doing is we are running a loop in the restaurant dot restaurant menu and let's say the first category is vegetarian so get all the vegetarian data then second is the non veg get all the non veg uh, menu items right and then we are using the restaurant card component that is nothing but showing the banner of that uh, the restaurant menu item okay and the menu information like what is this particular uh, item name like panitika the description about the panitika item and uh, what is the cost for this particular item if you want to buy it you can increase and decrease the quantity all these things and that is what we are doing here on the landing page we are making a call and the first category is vegetarian so currently i just created a dummy data here using the api and this is the data i have the same data i am populating here and we can see the redux state so whenever you go to the landing page of any restaurant we are actually fetching the restaurant menu and the address now address also you can put fancy you can put a lot of fancy things here putting the rating cost for to all the information currently this is totally dummy here you can put nice logo put a description about the restaurant here which can talks about two three lines of uh, text and then all the menu items split it and here now this all the logic of adding the menu items to the redux state currently your cart is empty but when you start adding the items from here plus minus plus minus we are entering into a simple e-commerce where the current cart is empty but when you add it then this cart will start popping up these items okay you purchase the panetica item 1 300 price when you add it twice the item 2 price is 600 right same logic will be applied and here you can see the cart when you go to the cart page checkout page you should see the same set of items right so this is only about just the structuring the ui the component and data flow is simple we have consumed the full microservice here swiggy microservice which talks about getting the restaurant information the address information restaurant uh, menu items so we are able to consume it fully now we are going to talk about the checkout product and checkout information and the cart cart component right so you can either you can have a separate microservice or we can manage it in the same microservice what we are going to do is this is the user and this is adding this item from this restaurant to this cart okay so this kind of relationship we are going to store in the database so whenever user is coming back he should be able to see okay he has added these many items in the cart okay so that is the next thing and i will be covering that maybe in the next week but what you can do is you can actually go through this the the whole code structure and all i will be pushing this on the the github okay uh, thanks everyone